Good morning, Efforta. The results came in from Mr. Bollinger, and I can officially say that I am officially not illegal. Welcome well, congratulations. to America. Thank you. Woo! Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to our flag. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be legally blind? Have you ever wanted to, have you ever seen someone with a visual impairment and wondered how they navigate the world? Yes. Well, we have an opportunity for you to find out. Next Wednesday, March 28th, the FFA will be hosting specialist Andrea Bernard to teach us how the visually impaired use tools like cane, braille, and sighted guides to do everyday tasks. Participants will also have the opportunity to experience what it's like to have a visual impairment through the use of simulation glasses. The workshop will start after school at 2.50 p.m. in room 316. You do not have to be an FFA member to participate. All are welcome. Class of 2019, looking for an incredible free, well nothing's really free, leadership opportunity this summer. Check out the Vertebrae Youth Leaders Award at the RYLA Conference at Messiah College this summer, June 10th through the 14th. RYLA provides leadership training for outstanding young men and women. This schedule includes various speakers, career seminars, a challenging course, team building activities, and much, much more. For more information about this free student leadership conference, be sure to check out the application in Schoology, or you can pick one up in the counseling office. Don't delay it because initial paperwork needs to be submitted to the counseling office by April 5th. If you have any questions whatsoever, talk to your guidance counselor, ASAP Rocky. Attention seniors, the Ephrata National Bank and Kunda Hishman Scholarship are now open. Log on to Navion's Family Connection to complete your ap application. Apply today and get free money. Applications and all material are due by March 31st. The second March Saturday detention will be held tomorrow, March 24th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Students can attend to make up obligation time. Time is doubled on Saturdays. The EHS Theater Program are looking for members to cover stage crew and some technical board positions. Any students interested in being part of this year's spring production musical of Beauty and the Beast, the stage crew, should report in the auditorium beginning Monday, March 26th, for a brief meeting with Mr. Gonzalez at 4.15 p.m. Plan to stay for an hour. Those who are interested in learning about the lighting or sound board positions should stop by our very own Mr. J. Bish. Woo! Papa Bish! J. Bish! In room... Th room... 318 for more information. All students, including the spring musical, must be in good standing and in compliance with all academic requirements. Beating the Beast performance dates will be March 12th to the 14th. April. April 12th through the 14th. April 12th through the 14th. Sophomore and juniors are interested in helping out the class of 20. Sophomore and juniors interested in helping the class of 2022 have a smoother transition to EHS this year. Link Crew is looking for you. Link leaders and up, our upperclassmen who are solid role models for younger students who have been successful at our school. We are looking for responsible 10th and 11th graders with communication skills and leadership potential who are willing to share the lessons they have learned that have allowed them to become successful at the EHS. You could have a tremendous impact on our new students and you will learn many valuable leadership skills in the process. Link leaders are trained to work with and help the incoming freshmen transition into high school. If this sounds any interesting to you, nope. fill out an application right away. Applications are available through Schoology and are due by Thursday, March 29th. In addition to the online application, be sure to have your favorite teacher, Mr. J. Bish, <laughs> complete a teacher Bish. recommendation Bish. form and return to the counseling <laughs> office before Friday, April 6th. If you aren't sure and would like to know more, please see Mrs. Mandel or Mr. Habowski for more information. This announcement is for any students who would like to learn more about the United States Naval Academy as the post-secondary college option. There will be a bus trip to visit the Academy, which is located in Annapolis, Maryland, on Saturday, March 31st. The purpose of this trip is to give interested students and their parents an opportunity to see the Academy firsthand, 
learn about the application and appointment process, and meet with local area high school graduates who are presently midshipmen at the academy. If you have an interest in serving your country, as Tony does, as an officer, this is a great way to attend college for free, as a degree from the academy is estimated to be worth approximately $400,000 for the four-year program. Check out the information sheet on Schoology if you would like to learn more. Now, over to our special guest, Nicholas. Nick, 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 Nick. You know, the dishonest media, they'll say, Pens and pencils? More like, Bens and pencils. Ha! Donald Trump announced last night that he intended to replace National Secretary Advisor General H.R. McCaster with John Bolton, a defense hawk from the Bush administration that had previously served as ambassador to the United Nations. Bolton has previously stated his openness to the ideas of attacking Iran and North Korea, a fact that makes many uneasy. Bolton's position does not require Senate confirmation. He will take the job on April 9th, becoming Trump's third National Secretary Advisor in 14 months. Ever wonder where we get the term OK from? Well, on this day in 1839, the abbreviation OK is first published in an American newspaper and gradually made its way into everyday speech. In those days, it was common for young, educated adults to misspell things on purpose and use them as slang. OK is actually an abbreviation for two words, all correct, but spelled like oil correct. Weird, huh? <laughs> now over to Seth and Peyton Miller with lunch. Lunch, we have a Mountaineer double cheeseburger. Uh, beef ramen bowl with teriyaki sauce. Ah, uh, yeah. A, veg a vegetable egg roll. An enchilada pierogi bake with cinnamon breadstick. Mm. A buffalo chicken flatbread. I feel so hydrated. <laughs> a PBJ uncrustable. A cran apple delight salad. Ah. Cran apple delight. Oh man. Steam broccoli. Fresh cauliflower and dip and roasted baby carrots. Applesauce, fresh fruit, or a slushy. Fresh fruit! Yeah. Still nothing because of the snow. You want to study kinesiology? We got it. Penn State Berks is holding an event on April 12th from 5.30 to 7. See Miss Dumbach for more information. Today in sports, Boyce Dennis is home for his garden spot. And everything else is postponed. Let's go crown that shamrock. <laughs> it is time. It is time for the, the time has what we've been waiting for. The time has come. On behalf, I hold in my hand right here, top secret envelope of this year's Sir Shamrock. Open it up! I will not delay this any longer. Oh. 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 Sir Shamrock of 2018 shall be Seth Bollinger. Oh. Central oh. Committee Charity. Take the damn thing. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh. Look at this guy. Oh. Look at this guy. Oh. Look at yeah. person. Oh, that's oh, all ye. Props to him. That's all way to him, boys. He's an F A M. That's it for us today, Efrid. Have, have a. Ha we have another question for you. What would you rate, Mr. Have Bishop, at a one out of ten? We only we accept only anything <laughs> above ten. Only numbers higher than 10. So <laughs> yes. What would you rate, Mr. I'd Bishop? I'd say 12 or 13. 9 will 14. do it. 